So this year we launched the State of AI in Africa report. Um, it was a first comprehensive analysis of the entire African continent by a country by country. Uh, we were looking at uh, companies uh, that had a declared interest in artificial intelligence and then we looked at the markets that they were in, the size of the company, the numbers of the staff and the year they were founded. We also included in that report uh, a breakdown of the communities of interest across the continent and some of the investment landscape. It was very interesting to see that uh, a lot of these companies have only been founded recently, um, but the uh, a level of interest in investing in AI and deep tech is actually increasing. And South Africa is the number one country on the continent for attracting investment in this particular category. Uh, but we've seen a lot of positive use cases and stories both in Kenya, uh, Egypt, Nigeria, South Africa, and then the surrounding countries in those regions. So it truly is a a comprehensive report showing that AI and uh, these technologies and companies are growing uh, year on year on, on the continent. The Women in AI Zone uh, is a, a big part of our event in the sense that we're aiming to showcase female founded or female owned and managed uh, SMMEs uh, which are focusing on AI and smart technologies. Really what we're trying to do is showcase uh, the, 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 the startups and to get uh, young female entrepreneurs inspired to, to do that for themselves as well. I am the CEO and the founder of TE, which stands for the AI Review. We are an AI innovation and research lab based in Cape Town. We have a social impact side where we open impact labs to upskill youth in townships and we also work with B2B engagements with enterprises and help them optimize AI in their business practices to training, innovation management, prototyping for hard tech and soft tech. Today we're here at the AI Expo and we're currently showcasing one of our lab members, Pegasus. Um, and this is one of their uh, prototypes, um, very small prototypes, where they developed a vertical takeoff or vertical landing as well aircraft. And we're currently researching ways that we can improve or optimize some of the features on the aircraft by implementing image recognition, sensory technologies, or even looking at um, how we can implement aut aut autonomy or autonomous uh, flying capabilities. Uh, hopefully to also regulate and measure um, pilot sentiment and behavior. Uh, currently what I'm working with is alternative control for new age devices as well as legacy machines to utilize audio and uh, gesture commands and moving away from physical uh, actuating devices uh, such as the keyboard and mouse or joystick controllers just to give a more humanoid um, or human to machine uh, interface control that is more natural uh, to humans as it would be from a human speaking to a regular human. On the robot, the aspects of it is being utilized in the automation industry, the surveillance, security, as well as data acquisition. So it's being used in applications such as offshore oil rigs, uh, mining companies, um, crash test facilities. Um, so SpaceX has one that goes and monitors crash sites and gets better acquisition on there. It's being used in the healthcare industry as well as the construction industry.